I love these circle sound effects. Alright, three, two, one, go. Uh, hang on. Custom icons. So many good ones to choose from. This is the sellout icon. I'm not doing that. The sub icon, the follow icon. I think we're gonna go with the bear. Alright, so three, two, one, go. We've got custom dialogue, custom sprites, custom music. I last played this months ago, and I believe that Darren, the developer of this, wanted to make some small changes, but it snowballed into a much larger project. So I'm not going to read the new dialogue, but we'll take a look at it while we're playing here. I think this is one of the more elaborate Castlevania hacks. Also, because there's no official art, I know that Darren made some custom portraits. That's pretty cool. There we go, Nathan. I don't know who this character with blue hair is. This is very Naruto to me. Joshu Kishine. Okay, so we're bringing Maxim into it. Okay, apparently Diddy edited the new dialogue. Might I suggest removing the apostrophe and its during the opening crawl? Alright, Hugh's looking for some redemption. Now, to be fair, there are plenty of typos in official Castlevania 2. Alright, so here we go. Uh, what's this? Hint card number one. Oh, let's check this out. This looks fancy. We got icons for every option here. Big fan of the Nathan and Hugh icons on the right. Backflip with down Alica. Nice pseudo dive kick. Hmm. Um, can I do this? Yo, nice. Um, okay, <laughs> a little bit stuck there, that's fine, um, okay, we're good. So we got Nathan, oh, my controls are busted. <laughs> Getting in that bridge was a mistake. Yo, Nathan is actually stuck, actually stuck. Look, I'm holding right. I switch. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I gotta find a save ASAP. This is so cool. Alright, Hugh, it's all you. Dried blood lingers. Ooh, who is this? Who is this? I'm a little scared. Is this a zombie dragon? It 
It's a big mystery for now. Oh man, that looks so good! An unused enemy from Rondo of Blood. Interesting. Alright, so let's reset, see if that fixes it. Alright, we're good. Can't quite get up here. Or... Yeah, not quite. Okay, that was a little bit cute, but it worked out. Man, custom enemy sprites already. We've seen multiple in the first five minutes. Another hint card? Hmm. Is that lore or some kind of secret? Now, I do remember this from my first playthrough. The boys get a lot of uh, sets of gear. So two headpieces, we're gonna get like two swords later, I think. Yeah, who's this? Bruno ain't in regular circle. So got to do all this just to get slide. How are things? Care to try? This is your training. Okay, I'm ready for a good deal. Oh, that's nice. Let's get uh, one of these. <laughs> Very important to stay hydrated, everybody. I was a bit tempted to get the wristbands. Maybe a little bit too expensive. Okay, so we do have a dive kick for both. I always love when these games try and explain the nonsense magical mechanics. Now obviously portrait is the main culprit for that. Trying to explain how the portraits work. There's, there's no sense to be made of that. It's just portraits in a castle. But I know a lot of people are sticklers for that kind of thing. A bad explanation is better than no explanation. Alright, so we got free wristbands, that's nice. Alright, so this all feels brand new. I'm thinking I'm a humane. Big fan of the quick cancel.
Also, the uh, the slide animation feels very fluid. Did this get an upgrade since last time I played this? It might have. Also, oh my god, this hallway is nuts. There's gotta be something good over here. There we go. Okay, nice. Man, look at this. Not quite as tough as a Frozen Demons in regular circle. Probably for the best. I want that katana. Now keep in mind, this is not going to be like a 100% playthrough or anything. I might come later. But we're going to kind of semi-speed run. Taking the glitchless route. Oh, that's something for Nathan, huh? Okay, this thing double hits. Back to being a Nathan main. And it's actually a nice, quick double hit. Unlike a lot of the DSVania katanas. Glitter sword. A little bit of an int boost, okay. Oh yeah, I'm sure this game's got a great 100%. Let's not go up yet. Well... There might be some good stuff up here. Wait, is this just open? Oh nice, okay. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's blocked, but... A little bit different than before. Oh my god, random drop. That looks really nice. So far, very impressed with the animation. Very fluid. Well, hey, look, the water heals 2 HP. It's kind of a deal. Hey, what's up, Ziggy? Thank you for the congrats. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's fine. Easy. I can definitely get this one. There we go, nice. Very cool. Getting some Rondo of Ruin vibes from that puzzle. What a dodge, and then I ran right into the next enemy.
I think for now at least, we're gonna focus on Nathan and then use uh, Hugh for supplemental spells. Healer boots. Okay, sure. Bad gameplay. Let me try that again. Alright, so you've got to be higher up than I think on those dive kicks. Or uh, back dashes, rather. I'm trying to flip onto a platform like this, it's got to be like, yeah, something like that. There we go. That damage is not great. Okay, never mind. This is definitely a Hugh kind of fight. Easy. Whenever I hear this song, I associate it with one cutscene in particular. Poor Nathan, how embarrassing. From out of nowhere. Not bad, actually. Miracle Gloves, Miracle Gauntlet, better here than in Circle. Definitely get in here, nice. Oh, what's a gun? I seem to recall this from the first release. As we all remember, I'm sure, Guns in... I don't know what I want to do here. Yeah, so guns in Circle of the Realm 1.0 were comically overpowered. I think stuff like the Gaster Blaster is not going to be making a return. Maybe for something like a Boss Rush? That's probably it, though. That is, uh, no way. A leather robe, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way that's a sage robe at this point in the game.
them. Definitely enjoying how so far there is a lot of use for backflip. And this is the tuxedo room, right? No, no, no. Did I miss it? I might have missed it. What can you do? I assume that, yeah, pushing it all the way was the solution. Alright, very nice. That was a fun first portrait. Oh, was the tuxedo room moved, huh? Okay. I'm not losing it then, that's good. Did I get this by some miracle? No. Kicker boots, huh? Wait, is that a weapon? Yo! And I'm guessing I can't actually wall kick with this. Nah. I'm gonna try this out for like three seconds. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay. Well, damn. This has gotta be the best that a kick weapon has ever been in Castlevania. Gotta get in the, uh, the circle box, of course. Uh-oh! I can't see! Oh my god, this is too early for underground waterway. Yo, there's water! This is so cool. Surely there is an opening. I think I'm dead. Well, um... Here's the play. <laughs> Let's find a save. Hey, what's up, Albert? Might come back, might come back later. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I'm dead! I'm just, I'm so dead right now. <laughs> How about a little something like this? That'll work, that'll work. Oh my god, look at that! Please, cut me a break. Oh my god. K. 
Okay. Oh, that's great. I'm dead. <laughs> I gotta say, even if I die here, I'm happy. We've survived this long. Now what? I don't know. Hunter's Whip. Nice throw. Oh my god. Another one? Come on! Where's the save? Okay, let's go. I cannot believe I survived that. Man. Well, this hack got a lot tougher than I was expecting. I'm gonna keep it real. I thought this would be about portrait difficulty. It's definitely tougher. How about uh, more potions? Hey, welcome. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. There we go. Thanks. Now I can rush on through and just tank the hits, probably. God, it's still such a mess. Oh my god! Something like that, okay. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Wait a minute, I see the gimmick here. This is kinda cool, I've seen this before. So now we just warp on over. Oh, what a dodge. And this is gonna be a save right here. <laughs> right here. Nice. Might have to do a bit more exploring than I've been doing, just to keep things reasonable, pick up more gear. Yasutsuna drop? Oh my god, it's insane! Alright, it's fine. Let's skip stuff, it's fine. That was probably pretty lucky. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a little too good. This is a little bit too good. What is a stone for it? Nice. It triple hits, my dude. It triple hits. It's all over. Well, sick. You know what? I feel like I definitely deserve that. People are gonna say rigged and so on, but did you see that earlier survival gauntlet? I mean, come on. Let me have this one. Oh, this is cool. Gotta swim on up. Well, now we're definitely gonna main Nathan. Alright, so I think that area right there was roughly 
3,000 times better than in vanilla. In vanilla, this area is fine, but completely forgettable. That was an ordeal. I don't really want the defense here. Very true to the waterway. That was great. Great time. Okay, so... That'd be nice. If a Slimer was gone. Or replaced. By a better Slimer. Can I see Max Slimer? Maxim's kid or whatever's in this game? Come on. Let me save first. I gotta lock in the Yatsutsuna. Well, this is so sad. Um... <laughs> here you go, here you go, there you go. <laughs> Needed a bit of help on that one. Okay, never mind. This boss is free. All right, here's the speed run. Step one: get Yasutsuna. How's the dive kick looking? Yo, that double jump. Yeah, this is more what I expected, but Nathan's got a whole flip animation, man. Okay, first gun, how's it looking? Nathan only. I mean, this thing's still kind of insane. Okay, this might be too good. <laughs> Darren, might I recommend nerfing the guns here? You don't even have to backdash cancel, there is no skill requirement to spam this thing. What you do is you press the button. We've shown it off. I'm gonna stick with Yasutsuna. Even if I didn't have this a lucky, lucky drop, that gun would be uh, <laughs> pretty dang good, I think. More than enough to get me by. Dive kick itself is looking functional. Let's go. Oh, nice. You know, in a way, it's kind of cool. I mean, anyone trying this out casually might want to farm the uh, zombie dragon for this uh, sword here. I'm guessing it's rare. And it's a tough enemy to farm. Silver Chain Whip. Literally, who cares? There is no way that's possible. Oh, 
Hang on, is that is that a quad hit? Or did I misread? That must have been three. Nice. Living agony. No drops. Clear skies. It's kind of early. We'll take this money bag here. Well, I'm glad I have this sword. Stuff's getting tough again. Brawner looking extra snazzy, if I do say. I'm ready for the Circle of the Realm masterpiece. I am not going to get any CV64 references. Maybe someday. I might uh, skip some of the cutscenes going forward, just to keep, uh oh, just to keep the length of this playthrough a bit more reasonable. I think we've got a nice preview. If you want to check out the rest of the story, you gotta play the game. Um, where do I go here? Let's try going this way. Oh, okay. Thousand blades up here. Probably worth it. Let me try this out real quick. Oh, okay. Yep, that's pretty insane. Doesn't use a ton of MP either. I think it just did, hang on, let's try that again. It does depend on the enemy, I think that's five hits. I mean, damn. Well, assuming that Astarte is still weak to swords, and other physical weapons, yo, that's a lot of damage. Hang on, two drops here, quick farm. Oh, it tells you the drop rates. Base tack. No more futzing around with like stars or whatever. Let me get one. The odds of me getting one of these is like, yeah, one in seven. That didn't take too long. We will check the Yasutsuna drop rate when I fight another dragon zombie. 
See exactly how lucky I got. Oh, it's over. Now I want to see this intentionally here. I might die, that's fine. But I want to see if the custom dialogue <laughs> is in this. This might have been a big mistake. Ouch! Um, okay. One more try. Um... Yo, maybe it'll tell me the amount of HP. No. I I'm giving up on the custom dialogue. To be honest, not to ruffle any feathers, but I am out. That cutscene is kind of dumb and vanilla. I wish it wasn't in the game. I wish a lot of stuff involving Charlotte was not in the game. What can you do? Well, let's warp on it. Probably an upgrade here, yep. That's right, Dragon. I think Charlotte's a great character design, very fun to play as. But those quote-unquote anime moments are just so unfortunate. I think I'm gonna stick with Thousand Blades. Alright, so the pyramid was not too different from vanilla. What changes were there I liked? Oh, this looks familiar also. I can't cheese in. Time to find a different approach. I think I go back to the center, maybe? Try out the Moonwalkers? Uh, oh yeah! I wonder if this is faster than just sliding uh, with, do, uh, with doing the character swap, let me compare. Here's character swap speed. I think it's about the same, actually. I, right. we're gonna focus on Nathan then. I right, check this out. Here we go. Easy every time that room was sick. Yeah. Right? 
What do we got in here? Hmm. Is Camilla in this act? You know what? With Moonwalkers, I'm wondering... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm wondering... If, much like in Portrait Glitchless, the best thing to do... Lava Hound... I keep getting distracted... Is uh, buy some darts. Oh, this thing's not bad. We're gonna see if darts are even in the shop. I like that candle being there so you can dive kick on up. I'm sure that was intentional. The layouts here are very friendly for some of the more advanced movement. Hey, welcome. Poison dart? I think that's it. I'm going to sell the farm to buy this thing. You lava hound, see you later. Good while it lasted. Alright, moment of truth here. How much MP are we talking about? Oh, none. Okay, here we go. Is, uh, is Dart still an active emote in my chat? I think the answer is no. Bear with me. Time to switch it on up. Time to switch it on up. Dart's coming back one day only. One day only. Hang on. Okay, maybe give it 30 seconds, but it should be live now. And this makes me especially glad I got that rune ring. Okay, Iron Fist. Quite good. Kind of similar to the kick boots. Keep that on. Yo, Intrang. Plus eight's not bad. Spirit ring is new. Okay, that's plus mind. How is it nebula looking? I like the color on this, otherwise it seems vanilla. Oh god, I remember this room. From Rondo of Ruin. It was an easy puzzle, I was walled here for like 10 minutes. Thank you so much Perpetual for the 11 months, really appreciate the resub. And thank you Anonymous for another gift sub. Very kind, whoever you are, really means a lot. I guess we'll try and level up the uh, darts here. Three thousand mastery. Okay. I think this is uh, Darren's attempt to balance, which is fair enough. Alucard sword, yo.
I hope we find the full set. Oh my god. I know how good guns are in the player's hands. What about in the enemy's hands? I have an idea. Genius. Simply genius. Yo, we'll check up here, why not? I give up. What a skip! Um... I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, let's find some other way. Hmm... This is definitely different. This spear is also not too bad. Ooh, look at that range! It's kind of like a spear Osafune. I wonder how deep into the game we're gonna have to get until I find something even close to the Asatsuna. This might just straight up be end game tier. Wait a minute. This is just Rondo of Ruin, isn't it? This gimmick seems awfully familiar. Albert, are you here? God, I'm so excited to get lost. One more time. Yo. Let's challenge this puzzle here. I not too bad. Man, poison dart goes so well with the Asatsuna. Anything vulnerable just melts after being poisoned. N nice, nice, what a combo. What is going on down there? Oh, I see. Punished for taking a look. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. Unless... Some kind of wall bounce? Nah. Nice spaghetti. A lot of spaghetti so far today.
So, Legion should not be too bad. Yeah, often just adjusting the BPM slightly is a great way to totally transform the feel of a song. Like here, it's a lot more ominous now than it is in Circle, or uh, Bloodlines, rather. Well, I guess it's in both, huh? But I like this rendition a lot. Frankly, it's better than the clown music. Okay, that's not gonna cut it. We gotta get in close here. But I've got the perfect idea. If only this was possible in vanilla. I know how to fix this. Uh, hello? I just can't use my special. What's going on here? Maybe you can't do it on a platform? Was a bit close. Yeah, I cannot use Thousand Blades on the platform. Nice fight, though. Worked out anyway. So, where to from here? Let me just try to go this other way, see if it works. Hey, what's up, Arky? Thank you so much for 10 months. Double digits, thank you so much. Oh my god, straight out of Bloodlines. Blue Armor Lord is here. In Bloodlines, this boss is completely free, so I'm sure it's impossible here. That wasn't too bad. Hey, what's up, Zeronic? Thanks so much for the nine months. I am so glad to hear you enjoyed the GDQ run. Hope I did some justice to Harmony. That's a little bit too high up. How does this compare to what I was using? I think we gotta go from plus 20 to plus 30. I think this is the only path left right here. Ooh, this is looking kind of nice. Okay, what was that? I'm getting some revenge, hang on. Wait a minute. Okay, we have a little bit of a project later on. I got a feeling I know what that rare drop is. God, why don't more hacks just show you the drop rates? Is that tough to do? That's a really low drop. Not for this channel, it's not. Might as well be 100% TBH. Exorcist Chain. Is this a Hue Whip? Hmm. Yo! Okay, the Double Nebula. That's pretty nice. Oh, 
Oh, perfect spot to use it right here. Golem Hammer, I don't want to use this out of principle. Well, it's way better than vanilla. It's at least usable here. Oh my god, there are two drops here? Jeez. What is that move? That's a new move. Okay, strength boost is nice. I think it's gonna be my main. Hugh is really having trouble keeping up. Yo! -ho -ho! That was nice. Now where is this sprite from? That was so cool. Oh! Right, okay, so Hugh can use this as well. It's pretty nice. From Vampire's Kiss, thank you. Okay, Poison Cloud is one of the better familiars in a regular circle. I think we're gonna try that out. Hello, Bradish. Thank you for the congrats. Yeah, Diddy, it's called something different. In circle. But it's the same. It's like the ghast familiar, something like that. G H A S T. Um, it's doing one, but that's a lot of hits. Alright, I think that does have potential for later. Oh, this fight's not gonna last long. I'm observing. Uh-oh. Uh, it's not gonna last long. It's not gonna last long. Like I said, it didn't last long. Alright, second try. God, imagine this if I didn't have Yasutsuna. Very fortunate. Much better. So I'm gonna guess the car minigame is still in Circle the Realm. With custom colors though, that's kinda nice. Oh, okay, uh, that works. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. 
I got away with that one. The car just pushing you forward. Okay, this is Gurgoth. Ah, I see. This is pretty neat. So if you want to use the OP gun, you've got to complete what I'm guessing is a pretty late game side quest to upgrade that thing. That's my guess. I like that it kind of teases you, right? You know there's something better coming. If you've played 1.0, that weapon is unreal. It's too good. Alright, I am. Yeah, Gurgoth better not catch on. It's Gurgoth, now and forever. Even DDD. Who is all about updating the names. Does not like a Goonie, but still on Team Gurgoth. What's wrong with a Goonie? I think nothing. It's a great way to differentiate that particular Agni from all the other Agnes. Just a nice harmless typo, throwing that extra U. I'm glad this song was not replaced, honestly, because it's so good. I'm gonna grab that life up. How are we doing, by the way, on the Dart Mastery? 61? Okay. I, uh, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Yo, no way. That was another rare drop here. It's not amazing, though. It's not amazing. Yeah, Diddy, I think it makes sense. I think it's a good idea to try and balance these. But uh, darts are still gonna be probably the best sub weapon overall. Even with the mastery requirement. Anything in here? Very good. God, I just love Portrait's movement. 
Well, that's right, we got iframes. Moonwalkers do give you a little bit of extra iframes. It's gotta be more in this version, though. That's like Ecclesia levels of iframes. Epic boss. Oh, is it just the regular backdash? Vanilla backdash is this good, huh? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do a couple of side quests here. We gotta get Sanctuary. I'm also gonna farm a particular item. It's not gonna take too long. And I promise it'll be worth it. I think we'll do that before death. Yeah, Sanctuary first. Now, for all I know, Sanctuary has been moved around a bit. Let's try this one first. Interesting. Whoa! Hang on! I should have saved! Yo! You gotta earn Sanctuary this time around. Cool. And this weapon right here, I'm so glad it was kept in. The Angel Rod. Wait a minute, what else did I pick up? I gotta be honest, I didn't see it. Was this it? I literally can't even use it. Very cool. I don't think it was Sanctuary. I don't see that anywhere. Well, very nice. See, I have learned a manip for... Portrait. That reminds me, I really gotta upload the tutorial for that. But in this particular fan game, no need. You just whack the sisters once with the angel rod, and that's it. So now let me explain my thought process here. I am pretty sure the rare ring on these bear type enemies is gonna be the bear ring. And there's one right by a save here. Up to 1.62%. I want this drop. I just, I gotta see. Oh, I got a strength ring. It's okay. Let's check on the more common one. That was quick. There we go, it's a spell. Oh, of course. Summon the squad. That is serious firepower. All right, good farm, good farm.
Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to try and improve mastery on the poison darts. Just gonna take way too long. I'm curious where this particular remix is from, because I like it a lot. That is a big hit to defense. Can't take that one. Whip of Thorn, is it anywhere near as good? Okay, hang on. It's actually stronger than the Asatsuna. I think we're nearing the point now where a Yasutsuna might be getting replaced. But not quite yet. Let me try something different. Let's go back to the Poison Cloud for death. Okay, never mind. Poor death. <laughs> this is kind of rough. Oh, nice. Nice parting shot. Okay. I think we're on pace for sub two here. Second half of the game coming right up. Um, hmm, I kind of want that helmet. Okay, it's super late, but let's hold up and check out these animations. That's really nice. And for Hugh? Oh, very nice. Why doesn't Nathan get a custom voice clip? Oh my god! I saw this in the Discord! A 1.9% drop. Hmm. You know, this song reminds me. I feel like Arya's top floor theme is gotta be one of the most underrated songs in Castlevania, right? Never discussed, but really, really good. That looks like a platform, but it's not.
Okay, this room is a little bit much. Damn. Oh dear. That wasn't too bad. Well, the difficulty just continues to rise here. Oh my god! I can't get past. Okay. I kind of like this area. It's not my favorite. But I like the concept. It's more of a gauntlet than anything else. Cool boss. See you later. Now, do we bother getting the upgraded whip? I think so, right? But this weapon up here looks promising. I think we'll wait. Are you tired or does Simon Wraith have Metaton colors? Yeah, that's a little bit of Undertale brain. Might be time for bed. Uh, cool room. Oh, yo, hang on. This is different. Oh, whoa! These dragonflies. A million times bulkier. I don't know if I like this. Oh, man, this is so much harder. Uh, save point right here. There we go. Okay, if this is a truly top tier fan game, Owl's gonna be twice as quick. I. Mediocre fan game. Mediocre at best. I do like how it's the familiar. Finally, this owl familiar gets some use. Hmm. You know, another potential farm idea here. Can I finally pick up the bear ring? Alright, I'm gonna go ten more. There's one, two, three, uh-oh. This is made so much more reasonable with the poison dart. Yo, ancient armor, okay, okay. I think that's going on. Okay, ancient armor plus bearing. Two more. One more. One more. One more. Okay, last one. Well, still, a good haul. No doubt.
Okay, you have to be a little bit careful here, even with the ancient armor. That'll work. Pardon me, pardon me. Alright, let's see what's in here this time around. Dash boots? Whoa. Oh. Well, that's not gonna compare. I'm a bit surprised those aren't better, considering how important they are in regular circle. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Oh my god. We gotta clear this out first. I'm dead. I'm gonna die here. No! Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you go a little too fast. Gotta slow down. Be aware of the situation. God, the ancient armor wasn't enough. Look at how much easier that was. Oh, um, okay. Okay, I'm thinking this is actually going to be pretty dang easy. Unless it's a double creature. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, it's one. We're fine. Nice color palette. Oh my god. Reminder, I got this weapon like an hour and 15 minutes ago. It's still putting in so much work. Oh, you know, while we're here, um, enemies. What is the name of this enemy? Oh my god, I can't find it. There it is. 2.22%. So yeah, very low. Not that low, but very low. Considering I killed exactly one. Okay, this is all brand new. Looking good so far. Oh, the lag, though! Looking good, but comes at a price. I think I even fell through that Gorgon shell because of all the sprites. This is so good, though. The eternal corridor in the sand. I love this concept. Yo! Yo! 
Another cool drop. I get him. Not bad. Not too shabby. Okay. Losing a little too much HP here. Maybe the Dodo has the bear ring? That's not a bad idea. We also never forget about Griffin Wing. I'm gonna leave that hunt for somebody else. But if a bear ring is in this game, I would love to know about it. Okay, this looks very fancy. And you can cancel it like normal with a jump midair. You know, I wonder if for this part, might be better to go off of Ancient Armor. Definitely not for this room, but maybe right here. interesting. Harmony of the Realm. Oh my god, I'm scared. Minotaur level 3. I love it. Okay, we got two drops here. Oh man, I so want to see what they've got. Can't do it though. Gotta keep playing. If they ever do come out with a modern consoles re-release of CVHD, I want to see some more DLC, and I want to see some GBA stuff. Like imagine a Harmony of Despair stage taking place within the Castle of Harmony, or Aria, or Circle. It would be a little bit of a clash, but come on, you've already got Classic Simon, you've already got Getsufuma, it would be fine. That's true, there is a GBA peeping eye, for some reason. I think the uh, Dawn peeping eye looks way better. Apparently that's just me though. Konami disagrees. Alright, so we are definitely all set for weapons, except for maybe the final weapon. In which case I'll get Vampire Killer. Frankly, I'm curious if Yasutsuna 
might just be good enough. Now, I kind of like the color palette here. It's called Sunburnt Paradise. I like this sunset vibe going on. This is a good look. I also don't mind how some of these later areas have been pretty vanilla. Not always, but this one right here has felt largely unchanged. I think that's fine. It's been a good balance so far of familiar and different. Almost. Hey, what's up, Chain Breaker? Welcome, and welcome back, Mina. I'm actually gonna try out Summon Serpent here. Seems like it might be a decent match for Medusa. Oh, that's gonna be awkward though. I gotta keep you out. Never mind. Change of plan. That'll be fine. Quick 237. Quick math. God, isn't it crazy how ancient armor applies even when you're petrified? You'd think it'd be at least double. Hey, what's up, Kiwi? I'm starting to think Yasutsune is going to be good enough for endgame. Yeah, where is the nuclear option? That's a great question. Maybe it's tucked away a real secret. Yo, I don't even care. Do I not have a special that can skip this? I hate this room. So there are a couple of different skips. Any kind of special that launches you vertically or horizontally can skip the train. So if you think about in Dawn of Sorrow, any kind of special or super used to get out of bounds will also work to skip the train. Now I do not recognize this song. Wait a minute, yes I do. Da dun dun dun. Oh, it's just super heavily remixed. Not bad.
Potion Mega, nice. Oh my god! That is straight up a bear with a buster sword. There's no other way to describe that enemy. I'm gonna sneak on in here, okay. I'm gonna kill one. Hang on, soldier's note. All right, we got some lore. I feel like I gotta get a drop. Bear with me, everybody. If I can get a Cloud Buster Sword, I want that. It's right by a save. How long could this take? Oh my god! Alright, see the timer? I'm gonna go until it says 145. If it's not, then we'll bail. Oh, here it is. Great sword. Wow, it's so bad. Multi hit? No, it's just bad. But what about the other one, though? Come on. One minute left. Oh my god, I'm getting cornered. I don't think it's gonna happen. I just wanted to defeat Dracula with a Buster Sword. Was that asking for too much? Apparently so. Also nice, 6 HP. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go with two more. Maybe three more. Alright, one more. Here it is. The 2.25%. Here it is. I give up. I feel like, um, I don't know, I was expecting. Hmm, maybe good for bosses. I was expecting the um, bears to have more meme drops, you know what I mean? Hasn't worked out that way. Yo, hang on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone knows what this is. Oh, uh, do I really sit here and farm the Chrysogram? It's bait? Okay. <laughs> I was about to do it. Also, this room is a complete mess. Alright.
You know, I remember an hour and a half ago, I said I was going to be a human in this playthrough. What happened? Okay, this room is different. What are we, like, in the train station? Alright, that's a werewolf world record. Captain Tearbank. I see, so it's bear lore. There are dimensions to this game I did not expect. The bears are here for a reason. I mean, surely this is gonna be good enough, right? Oh, hang on. Is that a Hue exclusive? Oh, nice! This looks more like a Maxim weapon, doesn't it? The speed on this thing is outrageous. Very nice, okay. So, let's at least try to fight. Richter. I'm sure Ancient Armor is very good for this. Oh! I had a feeling it might be custom. Me versus the Master, huh? Alright, Morris, let's go. This is so good. Oh, nice! I love that tackle animation. Oh, this is fantastic. Classic Richter, though. Not much you can do about this. Not bad. Alright, so now we've got three good options to choose from. Yasutsuna, upgraded whip. Which is looking pretty nice. Although, frankly, not as good as I expected. And the Stellar Sword. I think we're just gonna start with the Yasutsuna. Alright, if this is doing more than 20 a hit, Yasutsuna is viable the whole game. 15 is borderline. And lastly, the upgraded whip. Okay, this is the call. Two 
a 21. Very nice. Yeah, we'll check on the Shining Armor. In the last version, it was right before Dracula. And there was a really cool secret in Rondo of Ruin. And I'm wondering if that was brought over here. No, it's not here, but Grand Cross and Speed Up. Try both of these out. How do you do this in Rondo? I think it's like... Is it just fly to the left? I think it's gone. I don't think it's in this version. Wait, Stellar Star? Okay, this is so cool. <laughs> Man, they call it Circle of the Round, but I think Darren has done a really nice job introducing the right amount of GBA fan service in general. A lot of cool stuff from Harmony, cool RA music. All right, I'm pumped, let's go. Well, that's not great. But hey, look, it's fancy. Okay, this is gonna be best for this, I think. Finally, Hugh gets a fight to himself. Okay, I mastered something. My power. Use my power. That is a purple Dracula. Okay, that uh, is not worth using here. And let me do a little bit of this. Oh, interesting. Hugh cannot equip the ancient armor. Huh. You gotta be a little careful then. Yeah, that's definitely quicker. Okay. Shoutouts to Maxim, everybody. Alright, Darren, did you keep in Too Bad Pal? 
Damn right. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, so here's my uh, final review. Level design and combat, some of the best I've seen in a Castlevania fan game. That Yasutsuna really needs to be pushed way back. It's all over. That's right, Nathan, it's all over. The balancing on that was insane. And maybe it's a good reward for killing a dragon zombie enough times. I think it's too much. It was fun to use, though. Uh, I didn't care too much for the story, but I'm not the judge, the best judge of fan game writing since I tend to skip these. I think all the custom visuals and sound effects were excellent, and a lot of the remixed stage concepts, like the Eternal Corridor and the Pyramid, or the haunted underground waterway vibe in the second area, really well done. So, overall, I think everyone is gonna agree it was worth the wait. I'll probably be trying some offline 100% for this later on. Big shoutouts to Darren, who is not apparently here right now, but uh, hopefully watching on YouTube. Great job. Thank you so much for making this. Everyone, please uh, give it a try.